Hi everyone, my name is Elmarie Sabiron and, and I'm going to tell a story and this story entitled How the Whale Got His Throat In the Sea Once upon a time, oh my best beloved there was a whale and he ate fishes he ate starfish and the garfish and the crab and the dove and a place and the dace and the skate and his mate and the mockerel and the pickerel and the really truly twirly whirly ill. All the fishes he could find in all the sea he ate with his mouth. So, till at last there was only one small fish in the sea. Fish named Statsafish. And then the small fish swam in the whale. And out of harm's way, then the whale stood up on his tail and said, I'm hungry. And the small statue fish said, Have you ever tasted the pen? The whale said, No. What is it like? The statue fish said, Nice, nice but mobbly. Then fetch me some said the whale and he made the sea fraught of you with his tail one at a time is enough said the statue fish if you swim to latitude 50 north long headed 40 west that is magic you will find sitting on a raft in the middle of the sea with nothing but a pair of blue canvas creatures of a pair of suspenders you must not now forget the suspenders best beloved and a jackknife and sheep rake mariner who is only fair to tell you is a man of infinite resource and sagacity so the whale swam and swam to latitude 50 north, long he did 40 west, as fast as he could swim on a raft, in the middle of the sea, with nothing to wear except a pair of a blue canvas breeches, a pair of suspenders. You must particularly remember the suspenders, best of love. In a jackknife, he found one single solitary shipwreck mariner trailing his toes in the water he had mommy's leave to paddle or else he would never have done it because he was a man of infinite resource and sagacity then the whale opened his mouth back and back and back till it nearly touched his tail and he swallowed the shipwreck mourner and the raft he was sitting on and his blue canvas reaches and the suspenders which you might not forget and the jackknife he swallowed them all down into his warm dark inside cupboards and then he smacked his lips so and turned round three times on his tail but as soon as mariner who was a man of infinite resource and sagacity found himself truly inside the whale's warm tart. Inside cupboards, he stumped, he chomped, and he hopped. He pranced, and he danced. He hit, and he bit, and he leaped, and he creeped. He prowled, he hoped, he dropped. And he cried, and he sighed. And he crowed, and he bowled, and he stepped, and he leaped. They danced home pipes where he should not, and the will felt most unhappy ended. Have you forgotten the suspenders? So, he said to the statue fish, This man is very nobly, and besides, he is making me hike up. What should I do? Tell him to come out, said the statue fish. So the whale called down his mouth through the shipwreck monitor, Come out and behave yourself. I got this hike ups. Nay, nay, said the mariner. Not so, but otherwise. Take me to my natal shore and the wife cliffs of Albion, and I'll think about it. And he began to dance more than ever. You had a better make a home, and the whale and the fish, and ought to have warned you that he is a man of infinite resource and sagacity. 
so the whale swam and swam and swam with both quivers and his tail as hard as he could for high cups and the last he saw the mariners not ill sure and the white cliffs of Albion and he rushed halfway up the beach and opened his mouth wide and wide and said change hair for Ch- Winchester Ashelot Nashua Kinney and station of the Fitch Road Road and just he said Fitch the mariner walked out of his mouth but while the whale had been swimming the mariner who was in the person of infinite resource and sagacity had taken his jack knife and cut off the rock into a little square grating all running grass grass and he had tied it firm with his le- with his suspenders now you know why you were not to forget the suspenders um, and then he dragged that grating good and tied into the whale's throat and there it stuck then he recited the following sloka which is you have not heard I will not proceed to relate by means of grating I have stopped your aiding for the mariner he was also an Hibernian and he stepped out to the shingle and went home to his mother who had given him to leave his trail to his toes in the water and married and lived happily ever afterward so did the whale but from day on the great thing on his throat which he could never cough up nor swallow down prevented him eating anything except very very small fish and that is the reason why whales nowadays never eat men or boys or little girls the small statue of fish went and hide himself in the mood under the dorsals of the equator he was afraid the whale that whale might be angry with him the sailor took the jack knight home he was wearing the blue canvas breeches when we walk out to the shingle the suspenders were left behind you see to tie the grinding wood and that is the end of the tale <laughs>